Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Zebrus, and today I'm showing you guys how to enable sodium alongside shaders. Now, if you don't know what sodium is, sodium is basically replacing Optifine, and I will be making a video talking about why. But until then, let's get started with today's video. Now, the first thing you guys are going to want to do if you haven't done this already is install the Fabric Launcher. Now, if you've already done this, skip ahead. But if you haven't, this will only take a second. So what is the Fabric Loader or the Fabric Launcher? It's basically just another Minecraft version. So if you go to your Minecraft Launcher, you have all of these different versions here. Go to Installations, you have all of these different versions and yada yada yada. We're basically adding a new installation that isn't created by Minecraft. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the first link in the description and then you're going to download it for Windows. Now if you're doing this on Mac or Linux, there are a few more steps that I'm not going to get into within today's video, but if you leave a comment down below, I'm more than happy to help you out because it's just as easy. So now we've downloaded it, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and you will notice this pop up right here. Now, you have the Minecraft version as of recording today's video, it's 1.20.1, that's the latest version. But you can click on any version that you want all the way down to Minecraft 1.14. Now you can enable snapshots, I wouldn't recommend it because most mods do not work very well on snapshots. Now the loader version, leave it exactly how it is and the install location, make sure it is pointed towards your Minecraft folder which is usually located within your C drive, your users, your app data, your roaming and your .minecraft. But if you have modified where Minecraft is stored, then you are going to have to change it with inside of here. Once again, if anyone needs any help within today's video, leave a comment, I'm more than happy to help you. But now that we've done that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that there is no Minecraft launchers open or Minecraft running. Because if you hit install and Minecraft is running, you'll get an error message. So I've just closed Minecraft and now we're going to hit install and that will basically start to install. And then you'll get this successfully installed notification. We have now installed Fabric. So now if you come back to the Minecraft launcher, you'll notice that down here it says Fabric Loader, which is great. This is exactly what we want. And for whatever reason, if it doesn't say Fabric Loader right here, all you need to do is go up to Installations and then click on New Installation. Click on Versions and scroll down until you see the Fabric Loader. Now because Fabric Loader was not created by Minecraft, it will not be put in order. You could find Fabric Loader 1.19 in between Minecraft 1.6 and 1.7. So make sure you go down the list and find it. Now I'm going to save some time in this video and not do this next step, but it's super, super easy. Now we've installed Fabric, we need a mods folder. To get a mods folder, all you need to do is make sure you are loading on the Fabric Loader and then hit play. Once the game loads up, close out of the game and then you'll have a mods folder. That's as easy as it is. So now we have successfully installed Fabric, give yourself a pat on the back. It is time to install Iris Shaders. But Zebra, so are we downloading Sodium? Listen, Iris works with Sodium. As soon as you download this, it'll download the second mod for you. Super easy, super nice. Click on Download Universal Jar. So once we click on it, you'll see that it's loading down here. And then once it's loaded, all we're going to do is open it up. And then we're going to see Iris and Sodium. You see, it downloads two mods in one. Now select a game version, select whatever game version you want, as long as it lines up with the version of Fabric. So Fabric Loader 1.20.1. Therefore, that means we need 1.20.1 within the game version. Now you're going to see an installation type, Iris install or fabric. You're going to want to click on fabric. You know why? Because we're using the fabric loader. And then game installation directory, once again, make sure it lines up to Minecraft. And then all we're going to do is we're going to hit install. That will start downloading. And it may say an existing mod folder was found, blah, 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 blah. If it does say that, just click yes. And just like that, we have downloaded Sodium with shaders by the way iris is shaders for sodium it works exactly the same way and i'm about to go and show you guys how well it works so we have just loaded into minecraft and all you're going to want to do is hit escape go to options go to video settings 
and then up here you will see shaders you'll also notice that the gui for this has all been changed and that's just with the sodium so sodium basically provides better performance to everyone if it's a high-end complete computer low-end computer believe me you need sodium in your life now what we're going to do is come over to shader packs and this is going to be empty for you because you've not downloaded a shader pack yet so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go and download a shader pack but before we do that i just want to show you guys this is just like using optifine so we enable the shaders we click on the shader pack that we want and we click on apply now that it's been applied as you can see the shaders are now working now what we can do is we can customize the shader pack settings and everything else in between literally the same as optifine but much much better it also doesn't lag as heavy which is awesome now let's go and install a shader pack and i've got some good ones to suggest now the two shader packs that i would highly recommend are the two shader packs that i've been using since day one but if you guys know any better shader packs make sure to comment them down below because i am looking at changing the shader packs that i am currently using just to make some better videos for you guys the first one is bsl shaders and the second one is complementary shaders you can find both of these links and all the other links that i've used within today's video down in the description so what you want to do is you just want to hit download and then you want to come over here and you just want to hit download once again so once you guys have downloaded them all you want to do is locate your minecraft folder the easiest way to do this on windows is by holding the windows key pressing r and that will open up this run prompt type app data inside of the run prompt click on ok and then you're going to want to go down to roaming and you want to go down to dot minecraft from here you're going to want to go down to shader packs and all you're going to want to do is drag your downloaded shader pack from your downloads into here and bob's your uncle that has been done now we can go back into minecraft activate the shader pack and start having some fun but i'm not going to do that because i am going to leave you guys here i really do hope you enjoyed today's video if you did subscribe leave a like and i'll see you guys when i see you guys in the next one and bye bye